I'm just going to go ahead and make a little bet here and say that you have probably seen Full Metal Jacket before. And you certainly know Arlie Ermey, who played Gunnery Sergeant Hartman in that movie, and also voiced Sarge in Toy Story. Well, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to a game known as Full Metal Sergeant. Coming soon to Steam, but available now in a demo that allows us to build, own, and operate or manage our own military camp. Leaning more towards Marines and, you know, Marine Corps... Uh, drill sergeant and training regarding that um, American Marines but having a little bit to do with all sorts of other branches of all sorts of other different militaries just to make it fun for gameplay mechanics so if you've uh, seen the channel before you might recognize this as reminding you of a game called when I was young it's a game about training for Vietnam although it's kind of more of a 2d uh, <laughs> boot camp simulator as well this game such as that game simulates a little bit of and references heavily elements from full metal jacket hence the name Full Metal Sergeant. Uh, there's some other great games coming soon to Steam as well called One Military Camp that does this as well, but in the art style of Evil Genius, and that's really cool too, building military bases and actually being able to train the troops, things like stamina, agility, intelligence, and their ability to uh, use their weapons and or go for their mod, which is uh, kind of like their specialization. It's pretty neat. So anyway, Make sure you go ahead and leave a like down below to support this independent developer. I mean, you know, liking my channel is cool and all, but do it for those indie mods uh, and mod makers, I should say. And of course, so more people find it and download it for free. Thanks again for subscribing and becoming members. And without further ado, let's take our first look at the upcoming Full Metal Sergeant. Here we go. Wait, hold on. I have a feeling this is going to be fun. And here we go. Welcome, Drill Sergeant. Your duty is to train the recruits assigned to this camp. For 12 weeks, you'll condition their bodies and strengthen their minds for the rigors of war. The camp is likewise yours to develop. Every recruit who graduates at every competition you win will raise your prestige in our eyes and likely convince us to release additional resources for your training efforts. All right, well, we're essentially trying to win a war here, so yeah, that's exactly what we have to do. Now, keep in mind, this is a demo, so a lot of things are going to be missing, incomplete, and or simplified just to teach you uh, parts of the game. So essentially what we can do here is train our troops in all sorts of different things, including uh, strength training, agility training, melee training, and intelligence training, things like uh, push-ups, jumping jacks, sit-ups, and cleaning their rifles, as well as discipline, like, for example, cleaning the cannon up here, and eventually we can get a guard post. Uh, similarly to, uh, like, papers, please, or whatnot, people will actually show up at the gate and do all sorts of, like, um, dropping off of packages and other things like that. Now, you can always give it to your troops or deny them to either try to motivate them or search for contraband, but I'm not sure if there's any in there. Also, uh, we have our breakdown of who's here, Dash, Not-So, and Tubby. <laughs> and, of course, Tubby is fat. Well, that, that yeah, that's, that's okay. Who doesn't like a good hamburger? And everybody's dumb, so we got fat and dumb troops. But we will erase that. We will work that out of them and make the best troops ever. Here's our upgrades, too. We can get the guard tower and the uh, or the guard post and the uh, cannon here. And then we have ourselves running tracks, no man land, swimming pools, sniper courses. Uh, I think this is maybe uh, tear gas training. All sorts of different types of weapons and specializations, mortars and machine guns and anti-tank, all the way up to paratroopers. So pretty cool stuff that we can eventually unlock. Although, again, a lot of this is locked for the demo, which is fine. Now, we can unlock that with prestige, and so we'll get that by essentially, um, yeah, assigning a recruit to a mod. And then we can basically... Uh, work their specialization and get more points for that so that's pretty cool all right let's go ahead and uh some of our troops are dumb dumb and fat so let's get them training on uh, let's go for cleaning their rifle and what would make them lose weight maybe i think we can actually get them to train on uh, marching around the base we can also enter competitions too so in a few weeks there seems to be oh the postman will come on the seventh well actually he comes tomorrow and then on the third there's a competition this is the weeks by the way so week one nothing uh, then there'll be a postman pretty much every other week. We have inspections in which we can uh, earn bonuses and such by having the troops in a certain shape. That kind of thing. So, all right, let's go ahead and start training. Cleaning the rifle is an art. Treat it like your best girl or it'll f follow you up entirely. All right, let's go ahead and uh, maybe do a little bit of agility for jumping jacks here. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, eight. Ability anymore. <laughs> Yes, there's definitely some play on uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, I Love Marine Corps. Yes. Okay, now we have a few more uh, tra 
training points to do. So we exhaust, I think, one point per training. So uh, let's give these guys a little bit more intelligence and a little bit more uh, agility. Those guys are just cre uh, cleaning their rifles, and I think we can build a few more sections here. The next week we can do... I think we're doing a PT, two PT areas. Yeah, let's do that. So then we can eventually get somebody for each of the different specializations. All right, let's assign an MOD. A military occupational designation. You earn prestige by assigning a mod. Once a mod is assigned, it cannot be changed. You may wait to assign a mod. So right now we can make our troops infantry or riflemen, but we need to get them a little bit higher in their strength and agility. So we can assign them a mod a little bit later. So we'll go on to the next week and assign everybody uh, later on. Unless they're ready to go now. Tubby needs 2112. Or sorry, that's where he is now. He needs to get to 3030. So if anybody's going to be a rifleman, they got to get to 3030. So we've got 12 weeks to get him up there. Looks like uh, Dash is probably the closest to it. So we'll wait till next week. Another great scene from Full Metal Jacket is all of them getting their uh, specializations like that. All right, we got 10 weeks till the mission. We actually get to go out on a mission. There's turn-based combat in this. Uh, we can sneak through enemy camps, engage the enemy, and then eventually make our way towards the... Um... Oh, wow. Tubby actually made it to... Wait, why is he in a different uniform? Oh, did we assign him a mod? Let's see. Uh, there should be a way to check for that. Or maybe it's just because he's finally reached level one. All right, let's see. Press F9 to wishlist the game. You cannot drag me, you fool! Oh, the postman's here. Tubby has been posted a letter with a ring in the envelope. Let it through. Tubby's girlfriend broke up with him. Ten stress and negative five discipline. Okay, so there could be negative debuffs for that kind of thing, too. Okay. Well, let's get back at it, then. We got stuff to do, gentlemen. Let's go for more, uh... Let's see. Agility and intelligence. A little bit more. We got many weeks to work on that. So eventually, your... Uh, I guess your recruit pool will grow as you go through the, the whatever war you're fighting over and over and over again. So it's not like you're going to win a war in 12 weeks. You can keep pumping out recruits over and over throughout that time. And it looks like uh, not so... As okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Intelligence at 21. Very good. Getting much better. All right. Let's have everybody train on... Let's see. We've got rifle cleaning. So that's intelligence. What is it again? We check these real quick. Well, anyway, I know we've got uh, push-ups we should do and also sit-ups we can do. Let's train everybody on 30 for melee. And what was it for the MOD? We want maybe more strength training. Let's have them do that. Push up until you fly off into the sun. Get those pencil arms pumping. I think the final version of the game is going to be a little bit more uh, motivating, if you know what I mean. Uh, or we can unlock that over time. Okay. So, yeah, the riflemen we need... Ooh, okay, so it's strength agility. Strength agility. Okay. Nobody's there yet. All right, let's keep going. All right, nine weeks until the mission. New com oh, competitions are available. We can do some uh, races, I think. I think we can do that at the end. Buy more equipment at the office. Okay, we got the running track that we can start using, so let's go for that as soon as we get prestige. Don't want to have the boys as any... We'll be a little bit behind until we go for riflemen rather than infantry. Uh, let's see, so... What do we have here? Strength, melee. Agility is 13. Let's get some agility training going. Let's see... So everybody doesn't get the same program. You're essentially trying to do this to uh, to get them all, well, their lowest stats higher. It seems to be a little bit more important than getting their higher stats higher. You know what I mean? Do not look into the into the barrel. Make Private, uh, Private Lawrence proud. Who could that be? Could be Leonard Lawrence of Arabia, could it? No, couldn't be. Uh, let's see, more dumb. Okay, let's go one more time on agility and intelligence. Probably not going to help us for the uh, race that we're about to have, but... Your thighs smack together like thunder. Oh, boy. That's not right. Enough training points. 
Hold on, sir. Not enough training points. We will we will join this competition. All right, sprint classic. Oh, we get rewards if we come into a higher place too. We don't. It's cost nothing to do, but we can also do sniper cup and swimming challenge. So that's cool. So we're going to be against the other branches of the military. So we've got ourselves the uh, Cape Nordic Naval School and Fort Louthgate. Oh, we can see who they put up as well. So we definitely want strength. So what is important here is strength and agility. So let's go ahead and try to... Oh, Tubby's going to be a little slow, but that's okay. He can do it. And off they go. We're at the bottom then in the red shirt and the yellow pants. Ooh, pulling ahead. It's best um, two out of three, I think, though. Wow, it's a photo finish between like four, five, and two. All right, let's do not so now. Oh, Dash, we came in uh, second place. Yeah, second place there. Nice, Nicely done, Dash. Living up to the name. All right, let's go in again. Let's do not so. We can put Dash in again, possibly. But it comes down to our score. So four points for coming into first, two for second. Damn, another photo finish. These schools are tough. Oof. All right, not so. All right, Dash, I'm going to have to have you do it again. I don't know if we can trust Tubby on this one. Go. Pull off the win. This is like a, what, 500-meter dash or something like that? 100-meter dash? Certainly over quickly, but it's, it's hard to tell. I love it, too, by the way. People are actually cheering. They're, there's been some love put into this game. It's not just a, a little meme at all. Damn. Well, we take third place. Not bad. Actually, fourth? No. How many points we have? So it looks like, uh, yeah, third place. Not bad. And there we are. Our camp. Well, plus 20. We definitely needed that, though. So now we can uh, buy some more stuff for the camp. So uh, let's see. What can we get? Uh, let's see. Guardhouse. Place a guardhouse at the entrance to the camp. A recruit can be sent there to recover stamina and stress. Requires two training points. I'm going to go with the cannon, which will give them uh, a little bit of uh, discipline, too. And a little bit more stamina. So that's going to be good. All right, we'll go with that one. And then we'll work our way up to the running track at 20 points. So we'll do another competition on the sixth week. All right, let's uh, probably skip the mods, too. Nobody's anywhere near there yet. Now, of course, there'll be more mods in the future, too. So that'll be cool. All right, eight weeks until the mission. Six training points, two out of three recruits. Very nice, gentlemen. Okay, uh, let's see. Now it's going to be another race, so we could train our people on strength and agility again. So let's get everybody on strength training. Is my plan. I will be nope. Abiding. Got a guard coming in. Is my plan. I will be Senior instructor. Hello, Sergeant. This is a routine camp inspection. Let's take a look. All right, we passed. I think there's a way to see what we've got. Let's see. Why did you click on me? Do you like me? Yes, I think you're great. <laughs> I think you're wonderful, sir. Uh, let's see. How do, there should be a way to actually check and see what our uh, points or whatnot are for. Is it down here? Now, there's some sort of way you can see your trophies or stats. Anyway, uh, let's see. Stamina's raising. Good. Let's see, what do we got? 20... Oh, man, they're still they're still dumb. We need more intelligence. But we need to train to win this uh, competition. Not only are we, you know, working to be successful at the mission, but we also want to work to build the camp. And so, thus, by doing more prestige things, we can work on making uh, training better for future soldiers. So if we go for this competition, we can essentially get more government funding that way and then actually have uh, better troops overall. Better... better uh, well, I guess better Marines as they get trained. I guess we could just say troops because it doesn't really say. I mean, it's heavily implied, but who cares? The, these could be damn uh, space Marines for all we know. It could be Halo. <laughs> Let's go with agility again. Looks like we have jesters all over this camp. I thought kangaroos came from Australia. They certainly do. All right. All done. Stamina's low. All right, well, we're getting closer. Agility is at 31. 
and 26, so uh, not so. Only needs... Uh, let's see. Strength training of 25 now. Ooh. Negative... Fi oh, plus 50 reload time. Oh, it's because maybe he's dumb. That might be, actually. Who knows? Next week. This is definitely the type of game I want to play a little bit more. There's subtle nuances that make big differences, so I'm sure you'll notice some things that uh, I did not see. Okay, let's do... Uh, Oh, here we are. This is how we see it. Senior instructor. Good, good. So, uh, yeah, we do it by clicking on the uh, the board. Okay, postman comes today. Oh, I see a chef down there, too. And a competition next week. Let's see what the uh, people want here before we start our training, because that could actually boost stamina if we do it. Uh, Tubby apparently had a subscription to Red Rifle Shooting Magazine. They thoughtfully forwarded to the current address. Let it through. Tubby has received Shooting Magazine. Shooting plus three. Awesome. Hey, Sarge. I got a heavy crate. I just can't move. Must be my kitchen's lard. You let me recruit real quick? Uh, ask the strongest recruit to uh, assist the cook. Well, we don't really have anybody. Sorry, chef. Are you an idiot? Go back to the kitchen. Well, <laughs> we just didn't have the proper recruit training ready. All right, let's do strength training then. All right, running track. Buy that as well. Opens up the track now for the shooting range, which I think will give us uh, better sniping skills, I think. Shooting range improves recruits shooting at sniper qualification, knee shooting. Okay, that's something that we can unlock eventually. All right, uh, let's do... Oh, we need six points to train on that. Let's do another strength train. One at a time. So after these troops come back from war... If they make it home, which they will, because Raptorian troops are the best trained. We will have another drill sergeant to help train, so we'll get a plus one on everything that they train on. So, uh, essentially, when we do, like, for example, uh, sit-ups or something, or let's say we do agility training, it'll be like a plus two. So that's quite helpful. All right, so now... Wow, good. Dash now has the uh, 30 strength. We need a little bit more agility. Not so as close. Everybody's going to need more strength training minus dash. Dash needs more agility training. So it'll be strength except for dash. Dash will need to dash. A dog. New competitions available. Why is there a dog? Is there going to be... Oh, there's a dog coming to the gate. Why? All right, let's wait till he gets here. Um, we could do discipline training on the cannon. First, I thought that was like a museum or just a little decoration for the uh, base, but I guess not. A stray dog comes sniffing around looking for a handout. Shoot it away, feed it, try and adopt it as a mascot. The dog does not want to be collected. Oh, collared. He ran away. Oh, darn. Oh, you would have been a great mascot. Probably like a 50-50 chance to succeed. All right, boys. Uh, let's see. Dash, you're on jumping jacks. Everybody else on strength. So imagine this. Like, it looks like there's three stations on either side. So you've got six stations times four. Maybe more. It, based on uh, whether or not we can expand the base or something in the future. Kind of cool. All right. Uh, we got a little bit more to do. Let's go for a bit more agility. And more strength. And when they're done, we'll join the competition. We can also do running, but... Let's see. Three for strength and three for melee for running. Minus ten stamina. And, of course, we have our 5 a.m. I'm out of bed cadence. If you ever see a soldier, proud men, march on, marching for the banner. Steady strokes. Or unit run. Well, we can't do that just yet. Well, let's start... Not enough training points! I understand that. Okay. Let's do... The competition. Tickets are free. Oof. Everybody's low. Well, let's put not so in there. Gotta try to get them points. I think we can also get uh, stamina up by allowing our troops to go to the guardhouse or whatnot. Maybe, like, take a week off. I feel like there should be maybe an upgrade in the chow hall. Or something to do with the... I mean, we had the chef come in, so maybe... There's something we could do with that. Hey, not bad. We came in first. Hell yeah. 
Good job, not so. Oof, I don't think Dash is going to be able to finish. Well, it's going to be on you, Tubby. That's fine. Tubbs, go! Go, Tubbs! You can do it, my man. Best luck to you. Push for the school. Come on. Push for our camp. Let's go. I will probably take last place there. Ah, damn. Tubby. Well, let's try it. what happens uh, with not so. Let's see what happens. He'll probably run out of stamina halfway through the race. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he didn't get very far, did he? Oh, boy. That's all right. I wonder what happens if we completely probably disqualified. Oh, yeah, not even any points at all. Uh, well, we are actually tied with the Naval School, so what happens in that case? Uh, I don't know why we took second versus them, but whatever. I'll take the 30 points. Not going to complain about that at all. <clears throat> so let's see. We have the shooting range, swimming pool, trains on agility. Oh, and it adds the diver qualification, too. Uh, no Man's Land trains on strength and melee, so does running. We probably don't want No Man's Land. Unless... Strength and melee plus one. Okay, so it definitely trains even more than that. Oh, there's a diver qualification. That is unlocked after that? Oh, diver plus five, so we can give it an even higher training score. Alright, so we can go basically sniper or diver, and then work our way up there. Including, oh, passive insults. Not available in the demo, though. We'll have to, oh, plus three recruits. Increases the maximum number of recruits at the camp by three. Oh, that actually might be really good. We can get better uh, recruit pool for the... Oh, but that would be interesting because what are we going to do? New recruits will arrive at the... Oh, only at the start of week one. Okay, I was going to say, like, what happens if they join in the middle of training on the last day? All right, so that's better for, like, uh, round two, which you'll definitely do. All right, um, right, we're going to save. We're going to save for the swimming pool. Ooh, it's foggy out here. What's your guys' problems? Uh, failed the last training. Stamina too low. Okay. Uh, we might need to actually... Stamina plus 50. So I guess we have to put the guardhouse down. Put them on MP duty. Training uh, points are over! We'll do that to uh, give them more of that stuff next week. All right. Well, not so can now become a rifleman. Let's give you that... MOD. And let's see, Dash just needs a little bit more agility. And Tubby just needs a little bit, a lot more agility. Wow, a lot more. Oof. Tubby's going to have to just be on agility, agility, agility. Five weeks until the mission. Dear God. All right, let's see. How are we doing on stamina? Oh, God, everybody should just take the week off. Oh, guard is coming in. We're going to do this so we can uh, raise our stamina. Oh, can we only put one person in the guardhouse? Oh, I hope it took the lowest level. Let's see. Dash has been shipped a little finger length package, probably lip balm. All right. Dash received quality lip balm, and it's all the better for it. Nice. We have, like, literally no stamina for our people. What, what if we do. Uh... Oh, stamina minus two. <laughs> Wait. The. Hold on. Let me check something here. What if we did clean the rifle? What? Negative one stamina for that? I feel like that would just take none. Well, they can fail that training. We need to get our stamina up. Oh yeah, they're not gonna they're not gonna get up. We have to Huh. Gotta be a better way to give everybody uh a little bit of a break, other than it just naturally regenerating. Well, it looks like there's an inspection next week and then another competition. Let's uh, skip the remaining week here. How do we... Uh, is there a way to skip this? Each week you'll receive training. I guess we have to at least put them you on the train. You cannot drag me, you fool! Try and do that. I guess we have to spend the points no matter what. Okay. And now we can assign mods. But we can't because no agility. Nobody's going to have to just be infantry, I think. I think we'll do that. We'll put Tubby as infantry so we can train more. 
Okay. Nice. Let's put Dash in there. We want to try to get everybody's uh, stamina back up for the race, which will give us even more prestige points. And we need 40 for that. Here comes the uh, inspection. All right. Oh, nice. We got another accommodation, but it's not... Oh, it's the senior instructor, probably, but we need more stamina. Okay, well, we can only put one in there, so... Let's have Tubby just train agility. Well, let's see. Oh, is there... A w How would we remove that one... So the fat trait might only be cleared through... I'm not exactly sure how, but all good. Okay, so he can't do... What? He can't do strength training. He can't do agility training. How's he going to uh, become fit? Strength and agility are fails. Go try to clean that rifle. Too bad we can't skip if we don't have the... Uh, we have training points, but no stamina. But you would think that, uh, you know, the troops would gain stamina at the start of each week. Alright, well, Tubby, you're going to become an infantry. So, it looks like if they are a rifleman, they get a less reload time and then plus one firepower per level. But we'll go with infantry for the HP. And Dash, we will try to assign him. He's very close. I'm going to hold off on Dash. New competitions available. Oh, it's raining. Great. All right, let's put uh, Dash in there. What else can we do? I think we should go to the competition first to keep the stamina up. Let's see if we can do that. All right, let's have dash, dash. Now this, uh, I think the recruits that we got are probably the uh, the least stamina and the uh, least able to, to like win races like that, but dash did it, damn it. All right, let's have Tubby go. If we can get into the top three, that'll be good enough for me. We can get the swimming pool going. Oof, looks like last place. Horrible. Let's have Dash go again, but I think it's going to gobble up all of his stamina. Very strategic, this game. And really not like you're meant to do well on your first run, because it's more about the continuation of the school of the uh, camp or the base itself, and then also the uh, experience from, you know, actual combat experience, having those troops come back and then applying that to your new recruits. Anybody that you send out. All right, let's see. Improve agility and discipline, too. Interesting. Uh, we can go for the draw. Oh, the dry, uh, the diver. Sorry, I want to say driver, but... Diver certification would be nice. Combat diver, too. If swamps or lakes, plus five. Okay. We don't have enough points, I think, do we? Oh, we do. Ah, oh, we can upgrade it multiple times. Interesting. Oh, not available in the demo, though, for the combat diver. Okay. Well, now we can build a, a pool. Well, let's build a swimming pool for next week. All right, cool. Only takes a week to build a swimming pool. That's pretty fast. All right. Requires six training points. Can we train one? No. Stamina plus ten for the cannon cleaning. 
But we can only do one person on it. All right, so that'll get us some of the stamina back, too. So the guardhouse giving us the most amount of stamina reboost. The cannon giving a little bit. But in order for us to get through here, we have to force PT training. I don't think there's a way to actually skip this. I love it. All right, let's assign some mods for dash if we can. Nope. Getting closer with that agility, though. Okay. What do we got? Oh, there's the pool. Nice. Oh, we can change the training, too. So swimming or maybe a few other things. Uh, agility and discipline. Add some stress, too. You'd think it'd be the opposite. Okay, the next competition is... Well, we're done with competitions now. So we have the postman arriving. Hello, sir. Not so has been posted a letter. It smells like perfume. Ooh. Not so received a love letter. The fresh scent of love. Stress negative 10. Discipline <laughs> minus 5. All right. Let's get Dash back on the uh, guardhouse. Guess we have to work on stamina up upage. We're going to learn cleaning rifle. Who's got the dumb? Oh, we really need to train not 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 so but uh we need to train our man down here next time on agility let's train on let's see discipline lowest stats here are still our uh agility for tubby he's like one out of 200 how do we lower that let's throw him in the pool shall we no now they both have pretty equal stamina um I'm going to put not so on the uh, cannon and then tubby in the pool. Looks like we caught us some fish. Just look at that ballet technique. Now get moving. <laughs> All right. He failed? What? Oh, come on. How do you get rid of this trait? We did sit ups. I don't know. Well, I guess sit-ups would make sense because it's working the core, but... He's still... F oh, my God. He's stun-locked. All right, Dash, we'll get you next week. One week until the mission. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, so we need one person to... We need more agility for Dash. Tubby's got to go running, but he can't. We need six training points for that. Hmm. I wonder if stamina will have anything to do with going into battle. Okay, let's have our troops work on... Cleaning their rifle then. And let's... We can't, like, Tubby, we can't train on anything. No agility, no strength, no melee, no pool. Maybe stamina. Is that the only one that trains on stamina? Perhaps. Well, it gives more stamina. But that's just what the guardhouse does too. It's not necessarily that it trains on that. It just replenishes it. All right, well, let's see. I guess we'll do one more training. Uh, we'll do one more on cleaning the rifle. We do not have enough points for the run. Time's up. Let's see what you did this week. All right, Dash, we just got to train on agility. That's it. Last week before the mission. Plus six training points. Let's get, have them all go on a run. Just a, just a fun run. Wait. Let's wait for the uh, inspection to commence. 
So a lot of strategy in this game, a lot of luck too. Obviously your recruits, if they come in and they're uh, able to do much more, well, I mean, it's the military, so if they're able to be more active and whatnot, they're going to be able to train a lot better that way. Recruits with stamina plus 80, recruits with stress plus 10, nice, good. 25. Not bad. But again, it's meant to be played multiple times. We can also upgrade this too. Guardhouse to tier 2. That's cool, just like what we did with the pool. Okay, let's see. Let's have you all go on a run just for fun. Well, why not? What's it give for agility? Oh, nothing. Okay. Well, uh, we won't be able to do that then. Oh, well. Okay. And one more. Alright, so we should have two riflemen and an infantry. Alright, cool. Let's see. Let's get everybody on intelligence training. Treat it like your best girl. It'll follow you out entirely. You will give your rifle a girl's name. Alright, let's see. Discipline... Oh boy. Um, oh wait, let's try melee. Was this at 25, 21, 30? Up, down, up, down, I think that's Tubby again. No up, Tubbs, what are you doing, bro? No okay. And finally, Dash can be trained as a rifleman. Thank God. Graduation time. All right, let's go to war. Congrats, recruits. You've been promoted from maggots to wannabe men. Do not embarrass me during deployment. Hoorah! I think they're in the Air Force. Just kidding. The mission. The recruits you assigned to their mods have completed their first mission. Let's see how it goes. They've completed their first mission? I think they're about to complete their first mission. Anyway, here's their uh, health and stamina and whatnot now. So Dash, we can see uh, debuffs like IQ or Tubby with the, the fat, but uh, let's see. So their MOD gives them boosts or buffs for whatever combat type they're facing. And then, of course, their reload time and such. So Tubby actually very fast at reloading. Nice. All right, let's go. Starting supplies, 13. Let's go. Some folks born made to win. All right, drag your soldiers here. Oh, are we uh, in in a battle already? Oh boy. Oh, we got enemy troops. Assume this is Vietnam, but uh, let's put our riflemen on the line. And Tubby, good luck. Oh, actually, if we keep them in the back line, oh, maybe the enemy will advance. Let's see. Uh, sir. Charlie in the Chocolate Factory! I need ravioli on my aioli. I'm gonna run out of ammo. Good. Enemy down. Good job. Wow, Tubby got a kill, and so did Dash. Good job, boys. Supplies f plus five. Nice done. Nice job. Uh, show platoon info. Oh, they're level in battle, too. Yeah, so eventually they can come back and help train, too, or be redeployed. Alpha reporting. Ah, we might be able to break our squads into different uh, squads, obviously. Oh, we can actually move diagonally? Alpha speaking. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Ooh, question mark. Scout required. Trait fat. Tubby consumed one additional supply. Damn it, Tubby! This is Alpha. We found a supply crate. Okay, you're lucky we found a Wendy's. Now required. Uh-oh. Two enemy soldiers. Wait, are they going to shoot over each other's heads? Whatever. Damn, boys. 
Mess him up. And these Black Fridays get crazier every year. Supplies plus four. Nicely done, gentlemen. Uh, free the imprisoned VIP. Oh, that's our main mission is to find out where the enemy's hiding. The little lakes like this would help us to... Uh, eventually, I would imagine that the map will be lakes and rivers that we might have to send out divers for. There are probably going to be much more diverse missions here. Uh, should we go to the... Uh, I'm too curious to go down there. All right, we found a supply cache. Nice. That paid off. Uh-oh. Damn. All right, boys. We got to get up in their face. 15% chance to be hit. We got to hit them hard. Three spots the same. We had firepower plus one if we rush them, so let's do it. All right. Let it rip. boys oh. no who got hit you freed the vip plus 50 prestige nice who the hell took a shot oh we gotta get to the oh we gotta get to the uh to the hex uh what uh, lz the or wait what do they call it x y alpha reporting we gotta get to the xyz let's go lz is hot yeah evac Ooh, who the hell got hit i don't know get on the chopper uh, let's see. Leave the mission. Not available in demo. Go to next sector. Oh, okay. So you can continue the mission if you want to, but leave the mission. Your men will return safely without completing the mission. Wait, what? No. <laughs> uh, let's see. You keep the prestige. You have 12 weeks to train a new class of recruits plus 50 prestige points. Well, I don't have an option to, like, cancel this. Yeah, even if I hit escape. So uh, it says you... Yeah, I don't know. We, we complete our mission. We did what we were supposed to. It was literally marked on the map. Enemies killed. Six. Crates found. Two. No men lost. 50 prestige. Now, let's return to the camp. Yeah, we have 12 weeks to now train everybody else. So now we can also grab somebody as an assistant. So, uh, not so can train for agility. And Tubby will give all training plus uh, one. So, I guess I'm going to do Tubby. Because he can give everybody a plus one for everything that they train in. So, that's pretty damn good. So now Tubby is a assistant instructor. Nice. And it looks like a new... Is that a new recruit coming in? So eventually our upgrades will get us all the way up to here to where we can get more uh, recruits that way. So we'll go through No Man's Land. And then we'll get a new set of recruits. So I think that'll count next time. But that means we can have more troops on the mission, which is going to be badass. Win a competition by the end of week 12. That's from High Command. Yes, sir. That we can do. We've done that before. All right, so the cycle repeats then. So now we take everybody who is uh, here and train them further. We got Sweet Pea, Tiny, and Badger. Great. Badger is insecure. Tiny is timid, and Sweet Pea is timid. I, I'd like to know how to get rid of these traits. Uh, this is great. There's a lot of cool stuff to learn here. Oh, I guess this is how we do it. So, so in order to learn these traits, we go to the barracks, and then we find out how to remove that. So, Oh, there you go. So that's how we could have helped Tubby, but now Tubby is actually very valuable as an infantry training assistant, I, I guess. So we need everybody to train. Oh, look at that, plus 20 when we're moved. So that's another great way to advance. Get rid of the... If you iron out those negative traits, that's the way. That's the way, ladies and gentlemen. If not removed, there is a possibility to flee during missions. Okay. Oh, Tubby didn't flee. Damn it, he held the line. When the going got tough, Tubby... Well, he didn't really get going. He, he ate an extra burger out in the field, but I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Okay, so melee training for everybody. All right, let's all do melee training for the boys. Which actually is running? Well, how much does running give us? Plus three. Oh, yeah, we're do. All right, go. I fired that rifle before. All 
right, time's up. Let's see what we did. Can we apply mods already? I hope we buffed out that uh, timid. Oh, insecure. One more week and we should be able to do it. Okay, so badger. Nobody's really ready for anything. We'll probably, uh, mm, we could probably open up the sniper training next. Try to get these guys as snipers. Well, we'll see about that. All right, ten weeks until the mission. All right, and the next time we get more recruits, too. Here comes the postman. Yeah, cool. Now we get six recruits. Oh, we can get more logistics, too. Oh, not available in the demo. Damn, damn. Wow, wow. Yeah, we can get the shooting range going, though, at 40. So that's what we'll go with next. Try to get a sniper trained. Tiny has been sent a package labeled one inflatable sheep. Uh, Marino Hornless. Okay, let it through. Tiny received an inflatable sex doll. Prestige minus 10. Discipline minus 8. But uh, stamina 100. Alright, Tiny. Well, guess who's running laps? Wait. So it's 3, 6, and 9. So every third week. Okay. Well, we need that stamina training to get those debuffs out of there. But hey, that'll give us prestige, though. <laughs> and that was pretty funny. So what is it? Uh, 20 prestige per recruit? No, 15, 20. Okay. So that'll be 40, 55, plus if we win a competition, that could be 50. So we could get hundreds of prestige this time around. Pretty sweet. The demo has ended. No, you don't tell me what to do. Damn it. Oh, you bet. Ah, whatever. I am sad. All right. All right, well, that's the time we have today for Full Metal Sergeant. Definitely a fun game to be able to build as you get further and further into it, getting more and more rewards through prestige and then unlocking advanced training like uh, divers and snipers and eventually paratroopers, which is pretty cool too. Check out other videos on the channel, including When I Was Young, to see some uh, games similar to this about the Vietnam era, uh, which this seems to be in. And also games like One Military Camp. I'll see you guys next time. Leave a like on the way out. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.